SUTD, has a, in terms of curriculum, is going to be fantastic. It has a lot of unique uh, aspects to it. It has uh, programs that will excite the student, excite the faculty, excite the researcher. Uh, some of the programs are the first year and a half, all students will go through the same curriculum. Why is that important? Because we'll form relationships there. There won't be any opportunity to say, hey, I have to go do X, I have to do Y. Instead, the opportunities will be I get to sit back, I get to absorb, and then I get to ultimately decide what I do. First year and a half will be wonderful at SUTD. Going beyond that, we'll then have pillar decisions. The pillars uh, will let, we'll let uh, students choose what they want to do, where they want to specialize, where they want to pursue their dreams. These pillars include engineering and product development. It includes you know, engineering systems, technology, and design. It includes uh, engineering systems design, and it includes architecture and sustainability design. The pedagogy comes down to is seeing design permeate every class, seeing hands-on activities in everything that we do, whether it be mathematics, the basic sciences, to all the engineering courses. It's active learning. It's where students are motivated to come in, understand the material, so we can make progress, not just listening to lectures. It's a pedagogy that's active, that's engaging, that's student-centric, that is metacognitive. We'll be able to study how we're learning together as faculty and students. I'm excited about the engineering and product development, or EPD, curriculum. Uh, it's it's going to do things that really other engineering programs haven't done, or in my opinion, haven't done very well. If we look around us, even when I'm sitting around, I'm sitting around products. These are products that have been created, and in fact, I had my hand in some of these. We are going to use these, we'll study what's been done, and we're going to create the next best version of those. But what's an example? We, we might even look at a yo-yo. I mean, it's just a toy. Um, but if you look at this yo-yo and we, you were able to inspect it closer, what you're going to find is it's a smart yo-yo. It has a mechanical brain. It'll sleep on its own. We'll, we're going to develop products like that, but maybe we'll even develop even larger scale products. Can you imagine taking an idea of, of this brain that's in a yo-yo but now extending it to the electrical grid system in Singapore and in other countries where we make them smart, we use mechanical devices to store energy, and we actually improve our capability to, uh, to use energy and distribute it around the world, maybe from a simple idea as a yo-yo. The EPD curriculum very much is uh, relevant to industry today, and, and in fact, I would say in many ways more relevant than your traditional studies in engineering, like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, or chemical engineering. When you see these typical traditional approaches, they're good. You know, and they've been successful for a long time. But what you do is you end up, you specialize. You build up a set, of t a set of ideas that are really only for that discipline. And then the idea is, when you get out in industry, you'll figure out a way to extend it so it can apply to systems and products. EPD is different. We're gonna, instead of going from the inside out, we're gonna go from the outside in. We're gonna say, hey, we need interdisciplinary from the beginning. We need to understand not only the mechanical aspects, but the electrical and chemical aspects as well, all along. So that we will actually be doing it in a very integrated way, a very interdisciplinary way, to meet the end goal from day one, even in our freshman, freshman year, all the way to our final year in our capstone projects. It's infusing engineering principles, sound fundamentals, to create products and systems and processes that will, will change the landscape of what, how people interact and what they encounter in their daily lives. My personal work uh, aligns with the big D goals of SUTD in, to me, the perfect ways. I came here uh, after 22 years of being in academia in the U.S. because I love the idea of the big D. That's what SUT is all about. Uh, in my career, I've worked with over 300 companies. I've worked in fuel cells, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, devices for the developing countries, assistive devices for the disabilities. That's really the big D. It's bringing art and science together, social science with design, liberal arts with design to make it happen. Students at SUTD won't, won't be just studying the theory, won't be just studying the fundamentals in isolation, but they're going to get hands-on skills. Hands-on skills for design, hands-on skills for, for industry, and all the jobs that they might encounter. We're going to have experimental labs that are, that are accessible to every student. When an idea comes up, it won't be, hmm, can I just draw it? Will it just be something I'm thinking about? But no, you can actually just go build it immediately. That hands-on skill translates to industry in a tremendously relevant way. Students at SUTD can make a big impact on the lives of people with disabilities. That could be from creating sports devices where that, they, they couldn't play soccer, they couldn't play basketball, 
but now you give them tools where they can actually be included in the game and be a participant. What a huge difference that would be. Maybe we create devices for their workplace. Maybe a student's working at a restaurant, but they don't have the dexterity or the ability to wrap food at that restaurant. We give them a device to help them do it. But you can also imagine maybe even a communication. There are many students with disabilities that have no ability to communicate verbally. Well, you can imagine a device like I have in front of me here. It's called a Big Mac switch, but we created something with it so it can be positioned anywhere. This Big Mac switch would be connected to a communication device. And as the person moves around, they're able to, have to, to choose their saying, and then when they press the switch, that saying comes out. But what's unique about this device, if you see when I hit it, it gives. It's not rigid, it's, it's meant to interact. There's some design thinking in here so that it interacts with them, so that it works with their disability, so that it's comfortable and it works in their everyday life. How do we get there? Well, we don't make engineering just be in a lab. Even that, that can be exciting. We don't want to make engineering just be manufacturing. That can be exciting too. But instead, we want to make engineering make a difference in people's lives. It might be for developing countries. It might be making a difference in, in, so that people can raise their level of life, uh, and so it's just better. It's just fundamentally they enjoy life better. How, what's an example of that? Well, you can imagine this water bottle here. This is just one for the developed countries. You put water in it, and it gives you a little filter. It has a little filter to give you a better taste. Could you imagine extending this, where you dip it in water in any country in the world, put a filter on it, and it takes that very dirty water, water that can give you disease, and instead filters it so you can drink it right away, making a difference in people's lives. You know, SUTD is going to be a place for everybody. It's going to be about diversity. In fact, it'll probably be one of the most diverse engineering and technology schools in the world. I guarantee it. You know, one of our goals is to have SUT have an enrollment of 40 to 50 percent females, girls. That's unheard of. In industry today, it's not close to that. In academia and every other place, it's about 20 percent. That's not what we want to be. We want to be diverse. The hallmark of an SUTD student is they're a leader. They're the one, they're a person that make things happen. They're the people that change economies. They're the person that change people's lives.